No, the title is not a lie. The mace is now even better. And that's because of today's snapshot 24W13A. A snapshot containing all sorts of different things, with many of them focusing on the mace. And while I don't plan on covering every little detail about this snapshot, I will cover the most important ones. So let's hop right into it. Starting off with the changes that they made to the mace. There's a new explosive particle effect when executing a smash attack with the mace. Power and the range of the knockback dealt by the smash attack with the mace has been increased. There's even stronger knockback when falling from five or more blocks before attacking. Successfully striking a target while falling takes away all vertical momentum and will negate any accumulated fall distance. The amount of damage dealt by the smash attack has been reduced to 1.5 hearts per block fallen. And the mace can now be enchanted with mending, unbreaking, smite, Bane of Arthropods, Fire Aspect, and Curse of Vanishing. Which is great and all, but it is not why the mace is now overpowered. That award goes to the three new enchantments that have been introduced. Density, an enchantment that goes up to level 5 that increases the amount of damage that you gain per block that you fall. Breach, an enchantment that goes up to level 4 that decreases the effectiveness of armor by 15% per level. And Windburst, an enchantment that allows you to get launched into the air every time you hit a target, with each level increasing the amount of height that you gain. And using all of these enchantments together honestly makes for a really strong experience. Along with that, breezes now avoid jumping into dangerous blocks. Wind charges no longer will collide with end crystals. Bad Omen has been completely redone and now allows access to a special experience in the trial chambers. All sorts of things have been implemented into the ominous trial chambers. Four new mob effects have been added. Wind charged, an effect that makes it so killing a mob will make it burst into wind. Weaving, an effect that causes cobwebs to to spread upon killing a mob, oozing, an effect that allows mobs to turn into two slimes upon death, and infested, an effect that makes it so there's a 5% chance that entities spawn one to two silverfish when hurt. The loot inside trial chambers has been reworked, trial spawners have been slightly modified, and all sorts of other technical changes have been made. If you're interested in the whole patch notes, they will be linked down in the description. Otherwise, please consider leaving a like and have a great day.